So when you're working away in Mastercam, especially in the more complex tool paths, the five axis stuff, uh, sometimes you can get stuck on a parameter and not knowing what it is or what it controls. And typically what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the little question mark and go to the help file for that tool path. Uh, sometimes though, you might be looking for some extra information. So where can you turn for help when that happens? Help me, Tom Cruise! Sometimes he's not always available, uh, but in this video here, we're gonna give you another option for getting extra help uh, on your own in these complex tool paths. Okay, so before we hop into this video, uh, before we get going, let's just talk about one thing real quick. Uh, I can't believe I'm actually gonna say this stuff because you know, my kids watch videos on YouTube all the time and uh, I cringe whenever I hear YouTubers say this, but basically, if you find this video useful, informative, and you'd like other people to, to see it as well, please like, you know, give a thumbs up to the video or, or comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you, you hated it for that matter. Basically, the, the more you can interact with our videos, the more YouTube will push it out to other people, the more people will see this free content and hopefully get use out of it. So I just want to see these videos getting used more and getting spread out to, to more people and uh, letting people know that there's this, this content out there for them to use and, and learn from uh, if they would like to. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's, let's do some actual uh, Mastercam stuff here. So uh, I'm looking at this Dbird toolpath and as mentioned in the intro here, so when you're working away in Dbird and you come to a setting, you're not really sure what it's gonna do. Uh, typically what, you, what you'll do first is you come down and you click on this little question mark and it brings you into the help file. Uh, so new for 2021, uh, the help file is now an HTM file. I don't think it's HTML. I'm not exactly sure the difference between HTML and HTML, but hey, it opens up in my web browser. Uh, everything still works fine, the same. Uh, it's just a different interface when you open it up. So on this, uh, this, this file I've opened up, I can come into my parameters and uh, the, the, what I want to look at is this guy here, maximum angle step. So I'm not quite sure what that does. And I'd like some more information about it for uh, how it's going to affect my tool path. So from the description here, you can see it sets the maximum allowed angle change between tool path position moves. It is also used for collision checking. Okay, so pretty much, uh, pretty straightforward and uh, right to the point. So that's, that's what this setting does. Now, if you're like me, I'd like to know a little bit more information. I want to know everything about what this maximum angle step is doing. It's probably doing more than just that, and there's probably more in the background that, uh, you know, if I wanted to know, I, I could know. Uh, so with that, there is extra information on some of these tool paths, and it's found in this little guy here, this module works end user documentation. Uh, so this guy has been a, a, a tough thing to come by in recent years. Um, it does live out in the internet interwebs uh, in, in random places from time to time. You can find it and then download links go bad. Uh, Mashcam has it on their website as a download link for 2020. Uh, I have not seen an updated 2021 version yet. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the latest version I have access to or that I've found. And this thing, if you're doing anything in the multi-axis world, uh, this thing will be your, your, your best friend. Okay, so let's go and find that Dbird toolpath in here, uh, toolpath calculation. And let me just stretch this guy out a tiny bit. Uh, toolpath calculation, and down in here, calculation based on Dburring. So I can expand this guy out. And the one that we're after is found in tilting. And way down at the bottom, I think, is our maximum angle step setting. Now look at the amount of data in here versus what was in Mastercam. Um, am I saying what's Mastercam help file is, is bad or incorrect? Absolutely not. Uh, this over here is, is the Coles note. It tells you what you need to know. And over here is the, the entire novel uh, of everything uh, you maybe don't want to know and more. Uh, so when you read through this, yeah, it will get more complicated because there's more things being explained. Um, so keep in mind, uh, the, the first place I would still look would be the Mastercam help file. Uh, but if you want to maybe do some extra reading, I would start looking at this module works and user documentation. So question might come up, why is this not included in the Mastercam download? 
Uh, this download I'm going to include in the blog post. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll have to click a link in the description to head over to the blog post to get the download. Word of warning, this help file document right here is about 1.4 gigs. Uh, so almost as big as the entire master cam software. Uh, so why is this so big? In other places, uh, let's come down into this SWARF uh, machining here. So in other places, uh, what you'll find is there's a lot of videos inside of this document, uh, which really do help explain what they're talking about. But with videos, it takes up more space. Uh, these videos, they take up a lot of room. So that's why this document is so big because of these video files. So as helpful as they are, just be aware of the size of the document when you go to download it. Uh, so as mentioned, I will link this guy. This is the 2018 version of the help file, I believe. I also have an older one that's a 2017 version. I'll link both in the blog post. Uh, the 2017 version is about uh, 0.65 gigs, so it's much smaller uh, if you are limited in bandwidth. And the 2018 is 1 1.4 uh, 4 gigs. So I am going to keep my eyes peeled for the latest and greatest version of this help file, the 2020 version. It's, it's probably out there somewhere. Uh, when I do find it, I will post it into this blog post. Uh, so check back every so often to see if there's been an update uh, that would include this, this newest, latest, greatest file. Uh, and as always, uh, like mentioned in the little brief intro there, uh, if you found this video useful, uh, let me know your thoughts, leave me a comment, uh, hit the thumbs up, uh, whatever you can do to give me some feedback and help me out, that would be much, much appreciated.